Hi guys and welcome to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. In this video, we're going to go again over to the digital side. You know, every once in a while I like to do this, especially high quality audio. In fact, today we're going to explore one special process dedicated to high quality CD production. What am I talking about? Let's take a look. Okay guys, today we're going to talk about a special type of compact disc. Yes, what am I talking about? I'm talking about the JVC XR CD or Extended Resolution Compact Disc. Um, this is just a normal Red Book compact disc, nothing else, but the process dedicated in creating this greatly enhances the sound quality. And that is why I would like to talk about this today, because um, the, the sound quality, although it's digital, it's much, it's much more closer to the analog tapes from which these are sourced. Because in fact, all of these fantastic um, compact disc, fantastic albums of XRCD are sourced from uh, analog tapes. That's, I think that's almost practically a policy that JVC adopted in creating these. As you can see, we have high quality jazz, but not only that. Um, what is the cool part here? The cool part is that finally, and this started in 1995 actually, and it's still going now. Although the, the production is very, very small and it's hard to find these. I will put the links here below where you can find them. But the production is very restricted. It's still going on, it's still going on. There is a small evolution, but obviously it's a, it's a niche because a lot of people don't care and they don't wanna spend that much because obviously these do cost a lot. I mean, they cost double as a, as a CD, but the quality is greatly enhanced. Why is this? Well, um, actually, if you pick a any, any one of these, almost any one of these, you will find a detail, obviously not in this one, you will find a detail um, uh, diagram on how these were made, obtained, because it is a, a special process. Here you can see a, one of the first types of, uh, of chains they made, then there was an evolution, where practically you have a high quality mastering process and afterwards a high quality manufacturing process. So JVC enhanced these two. So no DSD, no Super Audio CD, no Strange Materials, no whatever it is. It's just the classic digital files, obviously ripped from uh, high from um, analog tapes in with high quality uh, digital files converted down to the 44.1 kilohertz by 64 bits of a CD. But every, every stage is perfectly optimized. Actually, JVC introduces a series of machines, for example, the converters, the, um, the, the laser that creates the glass matrix. I mean, everything is propri proprietary. It was made by JVC in order to have a complete domain, a complete control on the manufacturing, pro the mastering and manufacturing process. And each of these is a remastering, a true remastering, because they got the original master tapes and they were transferred. It's not just an old CD puffed up somehow. Uh, I heard people online say sometimes they're a little too bright. They, 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 they find some, de some um, problems with these. I think obviously there might be some albums that do have some problems, but the majority, I must say, they're very high quality and they're faithful to the true master tape. If you if you find some issues, you may have some issues in your in your system, in your gear. So be careful of that. So let's, I just wanted to show you. We have actually, for now, four main types of XRCD. Just the normal XRCD, here you can see the initial logo, more or less. Um, then they developed the XRCD2, which practically um, enhances the quality, enhance the quality of the manufacturing and mastering process with new gear, new machinery. Always done at 20, 20 bits of conversion. We're talking about the 90s mainly. Um, 
<sighs> we have obviously also famous rock albums. Don't think we have only jazz or classical albums. Absolutely. So you're going to find a little bit of everything. Famous, high quality albums. That's that's a good starting point. I mean, they're not you're they're, you're not going to find XRCDs of crappy recordings. You are you're, they're going to start from good recordings. Um, <clears throat> I, I'm just a big fan of jazz, obviously, as you can see. So here we have the XRCD two. Um, also blues, a little bit of everything. Uh, rock from the '80s. Also these in, incredible test uh, CDs. That are that were very popular back in the days. So, apart from um, these esoteric, I would say, um, test discs, we have the almost the final stage of XRCDs, which is the XRCD24, which practically just introduces a conversion uh, with a resolution of 24 bits. For example, here we have a good example. Um, as you can see, the, the, the quality of the booklet of the container um, illustrating always the recording process is very high quality. Um, I mean, as you can see, though, here I just wanted to say a little uh, note, a side note. As you can see here, this is blackened out. All of the, of the XRCDs are blackened out. Just this is a little memo to the people who are watching that other um video I did on the enhancement of the quality, CD quality or any other spinning media, digital media. Okay, here's a link if you're interested. Apart from that, after the XRCD24, we also have the final evolution, which just recently come out, just a few albums have been made in this, which is the SHM XRCD. I mean, ugh. Uh, what is that? Well, maybe you're familiar with SHM. It's a it's a technology that is also used as a standalone procedure on other albums. I, for example, I have an album of Eric Clapton, Ocean Boulevard, and um, it's just simply a high quality polycarbonate material used for creating the material of the CD, the uh, the physical medium, where you have, according to them, a better uh, physical incision creation of the bits of the information of the um, pits and valleys so it, that would be even a higher type of quality of the xrcd i never experimented I, I just see one or two around so that's pretty new but apart from that i mean you can you can go on ebay and i'm sure you can find these at a decent price and if you really like an album and you like digital mainly or you just feel you want to experiment just try and grab one of these and compare it because you will have a, a surprise, I think. Okay, now, just to give you a little more information, I wanted to do a little comparison with one of my favorite jazz albums, the uh, Jazz at the Pawn Shop. Here I have a normal CD, which I got in the, in the um, late 90s. It was very difficult to get this because this is, this is a Swedish um, uh, album. A Swedish production, so I, I I had to find this from Sweden back in the days. Now you can find anything on, on on internet, but apart from this, here you have the fantastic edition XRCD um, compared to the CD. So I wanted to try to listen this to this in my system here live with my microphone, but I also gonna put two files and download in the video description so you can compare them better with your headphones or your system, etc. Okay. So let's start with the CD version. Only a few seconds due to copyright issues. You know, guys, that's the problem here. Okay, so now we're gonna insert the first part of uh, the first uh, CD because this the, this XRCD version covers the entire program of that of that evening. This was just uh, a few tracks, the main tracks of the album. This has the complete whole entire album here. Okay, so uh, let's insert our nice CDs. As you can see, completely normal. OK, 
Okay, so I just hear a, a wider dynamic range. I mean, the 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 lower the frequencies are nice and clear. They're nice and present. Uh, overall, the detail of the of the of the the drums of the brushes, the talking in the in the background, as you will see, especially in the downloaded files, it's incredible. I think uh, this really proves how a good mastering process can already bring you at an audio file level, and we're missing that completely in our standard production industry production of of recorded audio today. Unfortunately, well, okay. Apart from this, guys, leave your comments here below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please leave your comments and suggest suggestions on albums you like, XR, XRCD albums, if you, if you know a few which are particularly good. Um, you saw mine, and I'm going to wait for yours then. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching.